Hey guys, Boris Lazar from BK Force. Welcome to our Force Day Technicals for 10 3 13. As always, trading foreign exchange or margin carries a high level of risk every single for all investors. I ask you to read this disclaimer very carefully to understand all the risks associated with trading and margin and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Well, um, I think the key story so far prior to the North American Open is that we, the high betas definitely remain looking bid. Euro obviously took out 36, which was a key level yesterday. Now 36.50 is the next big level in view for the euro as far as the uh, uh, continuation of the trade goes. Um, we had effectively basically two weeks of consolidation post FOMC, and then yesterday the move through driven primarily by, I think, less than dovish ECB and the fact that um, the situation in Washington just shows no signs of resolution. Um, and putting pressure on the dollar really pushed everything up higher tonight in the overnight trade we had better economic data out of Europe uh, eurozone retail sales were pretty good uh, PMI services was not bad Spanish uh, Spanish auction was, went off pretty smoothly so all of this kind of um, had a positive impact for the near term the the day's highs today 3621 are the key view for North America to break but the real big uh, uh, big Target is going to be 36.50 to see if they can take it out. That puts us, if we take out 36.50, that puts us on target to try to take out the 37 um, yearly highs in the euro and uh, as the trade continues. Same kind of a situation in cable. Cable really holding quite well right now, um, basically trading uh, certainly above 162, but the key level here is 62.50, which was which was pretty much the highs of a couple days ago. We had a little bit of retrace, came back. Today's data for PMI services also looks pretty supportive. And again, um, this is going to be at this point an anti-dollar trade. It's not so much the fact that you're going to get tremendous buying because of uh, positive pound data or tremendous buying because of uh, positive European data. It's just going to be, I think, an anti-dollar sale, especially if we have weak ISM services. Market starts to get to where the U.S. economy uh, becomes the um, the black sheep in the family, effectively in the G10 family. It starts to really waver as the uh, dysfunction in Washington spills over into um, in, in the concern over the whole U.S. economy. So in many ways, one of the interesting things and one of the things that I've argued uh, over the last several weeks is that bad events in D.C. are not dollar positive because risk aversion these days is not dollar positive. And I think you're seeing this, this, this trade where the safe haven bid now goes to the high betas as they're viewed as much better managed economies with more adult um, legislators behind them. So anyways, this is uh, where we stand on the pound. We have to see if we can if we can pierce the, as I said, the, the um, um, day's high is 62.50. We can pierce that. That puts us possibly on target towards the 63s. There's definitely a uh, flame out sort of uh, overhead resistance at the 62.60 level. But for the time being, it looks like a positive refresh rather than rather than a topping formation just yet. So we'll have to see. Certainly, look at look at this um, massive extension of the pound. That is a very very strong uh, bull rally. It will. <clears throat> come to a close but perhaps not just quite yet although certainly we're probably much closer to the uh, to the top here than we are at the bottom but the near-term direction looks to be positive rather than negative at least for uh, uh, for the next 24 hours so we'll see how that trades out dollar yen looking a little bit better we had there was some chatter on the on the boxes that, that the BOJ may have been checking prices this is this is basically their attempt I think to prop up dollar yen um, as the dollar yen has certainly been reflecting the absolutely putrid state of the dollar itself it's been nothing but a down, downward drift. 97 has been, I think, I get a feeling that the, the uh, Japanese authorities really do not want to see 97 taken out because that would create massive technical um, destruction here and would effectively create a full topping formation with a third lower high here over here. For now, it's still they can still maintain this kind of a basing formation if they can keep it above 97. I think that's one of the key reasons why you're starting to see this, uh, this pair begin to hold. Um, and lastly, the Aussie also had pretty decent data. Chinese data was better than expected. And Australian um, services really had a big, big rebound. Let's see where the Aussie comes up in just one second. Uh, there's the Aussie. So um, Aussie certainly holding about 93. 94 is the cap here. But again, North America's session could determine um, if, we bow, if, we, if we barrel through the 94. Uh, it's really going to be an anti-dollar trade, as I said today, as the day progresses. And we'll have to see if that anti-dollar trade continues in the North American trade. Um, especially post the ISM numbers and whatever comes out of Washington DC today. So that's pretty much how the day shapes up. 3650 in the Euros, 6250 on, on the cable, 94s on Aussie, um, and dollar yen kind of just hanging out between 97, 50, 98, 100 for the time being. Um, that's how it shapes up. Wishing you guys the best of luck, the best of trading support, Schlossberg, BK Forex, over and out.